everybody, it's Mike Drudge from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, sometimes I think I have the best job in the world because I get to spend time in motorhomes like this, a 2023 Allegro Bus 40 IP. So many things to talk about, but before we get into the tour, let me show you my personal three favorite things about this model. Come on. Number one, we have a level floor front to back, no step up in the back like other models. Number two, we have a bed lift, which makes it much easier to make your bed. It's also pretty neat when you're watching a movie too. And number three, I love this, an Insincorator brand on-demand water spigot. There's a lot that I love about this floor plan. One of the big ones is the amount of basement storage we have under here. It's functional storage too, starting with the compartment, the first compartment that we come to, in which we have a Truma, on a tray that's both a refrigerator or a freezer compartment. This is so handy for tailgating. I love having this right next to the entry door. Now up here, I have to point out the obvious. We have an outdoor TV with a dedicated sound bar. So as is always the case with Tiffin, it's an LG branded TV. I fell in love with LG TVs when we bought our first Tiffin. They're so easy to mirror content and they've just proven to be really good televisions in my experience. Now, talk about storage. I have two bays right here, both with trays that come out. This is so fantastic. All I have to do is release this and I can extend this tray out and make it so much easier on your back for heavy items. It's also got a textured surface on the bottom, but this is really handy whether you're accessing it from the other side or this side to access items that are stored under the coach. So I've got a tray there. I've got another tray just like that one in this bay here. So collectively, I've got a ton of storage also have 120 power outlets under there so I can uh, plug in lights and different things if I want to down there. This is just a little access door to fresh water tank uh, right here. Now I have yet another storage compartment. I'm always partial to the storage compartments on what I call the fun side of the coach, which is the side we're on. This is where all the fun stuff happens, it's where the patio awnings are and so on because I'm accessing this much more frequently than I am the utility side. Um, while I'm on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and point out the Girard awning package. So we've got Girard awnings all the way around as well as window shades all the way around on this coach. And I see something right here I wanna point out too. I've got cameras. So you've got, I'll show this on the inside, but you've got the ability to see all the way around this coach with cameras. Front, side, rear, 360. It's really a fantastic uh, camera package. Love that. You've got a little storage compartment back here and your air manifolds and your solenoids uh, right up here to the right. And then this compartment in the back is all things electrical for your uh, chassis. So we've got our chassis batteries, your starter solenoid, all things electrical in this compartment. Now it is a 450 horsepower Cummins L9 engine. I'm not a mechanic, but I can point out the red. Anything red in here is Cummins. So this has a side radiator package on it. So with the radiator being over here, it's really a lot more accessible for servicing the engine, your filters and so on back here again. 450 horsepower, you're not gonna lack power. Speaking of power, you want that power when you're pulling your full-size vehicle, your towed. You've got a 10,000 pound hitch right here, hookups for wiring and so on, but 10,000 pounds will let you uh, pull pretty much any dinghy vehicle you want behind this coach. Gotta have the def tank right here on this side. Of course, this is our side radiator. We do have a power 50 amp cord reel here for our 50 amp service on the coach. I mentioned the Fire Opal full body paint. So this is BASF brand paint. You can count on a minimum of 12 coats of paint from Tiffin. Also the clear coat 
coats on top of that. So uh, if you take your fingernail and drag it over that you can't really even feel any difference in the different colors because there's so many layers of paint on a Tiffin coat. It's really nice looking. Take care of it and it'll look like this 10, 12, 15 years from now. Now this has the Aqua Hot 450D system on it. This is a heat exchanger down here. Uh, it's a water system, so this is heating the coach, your coach air. It's also heating your water on demand. It's a tankless water heater, essentially. But it's also a, an engine warmer as well. A lot of functions. It's really a fantastic and efficient way to provide comfortable heat inside the coach. We'll do a video separate sometime just on the Aqua Hop. It's a fantastic system, particularly the 450. Notice this light just popped on. There's a motion sensor light in here in the what I call the utility bay. So this is where all our water hookups are. Our whole house water filter, which of course we've not installed the water filter in here yet. Um, as an RVer, I love having easy access to water pump in case you ever need to access it for to replace it do maintenance and so on and in this case it's right here by the door very easy to access the water pump of course your uh, water your housing for your whole house water filters right here hose reel here um, hot and cold uh, shower basically right here you can use it to rinse off your hands or however you want to use it um, this does receive heat uh, um, when it gets super cold, so it's climate controlled under here. That's another thing that the Aqua Hot will do is keep your basement happy and warm when it gets super cold outside. Very nicely laid out. Um, I appreciate that the door construction on every Tiffin is the same throughout all of the lines, whether you're talking about the Gassers, the small Allegro Breeze, the Reds, Phaetons, all the way up through the buses. These doors are stout, <laughs> okay? And when you close them, it sounds like you're closing the door of a high-end car. Just really makes a nice, nice, tight seal. Really nice. Now this is uh, not a lot to show off here, but this is the opposite side of these storage trays that I pulled out over there. So if I just release this blue latch, I can pull it out this way as well. So whether you're on this side of the coach or over there, again, if you have heavy items, particularly when this slide is out, it's nice to be able to pull those items out and save your back. Speaking of these things, these are, these are diggers for the top of your head, believe me, or your back. I'm a fan of either pool noodles or those insulating pipes that you can get from big box stores and pop them on the bottom of these. When you get to your camp and you get it set up, just measure out how many you need. And then I throw them in the basement when, I, when I'm traveling. But first thing I do, if I'm gonna stay at a campsite for a while, I put those things along here and I also extend them up here a little bit because man, that'll make you say some bad words when you connect with that. So same thing right here tray pulls out this way uh, just like that one does there our battery disconnect switch up there and our inverter switch you can see as well on the inside is there's a little bag there with the central vac hoses so this has the intervac central vac system really really nice and finally up here this has the extended battery package on it so these are AGM batteries instead of uh, lead acid batteries so this is an upgrade on this uh, particular coach and this is a battery tray which pulls out for easy access absolutely love that and then your hydraulic uh, manifold over here for jacks and so on so that is really neat and while i'm down here this does have the stainless trim package so all the way along the bottom of the coach sorry we got some water spots on here it doesn't look the greatest at the moment but I really love this stainless package. This thing really pops when you're going down the road with that stainless package along the bottom of the coach. You can release our generator compartment in here uh, to access the generator, which comes out in the front. And then we've got, this is just uh, a mishmash of wiring up here. I'm not gonna go into all this, but most importantly, when you're reaching, you're gonna pop the generator by pulling this little knob I can come up here 
and then access the front of the generator. I can look on the side here and see we've got a whopping 11 hours on this generator so far. So this makes it really nice to access the generator for servicing uh, as you need. And when you're done, simply just push this back until it latches. Now this coach does have mobile eye collision avoidance on it. Uh, this is a 2023 model. Tiffin is switching to a different um, type of collision avoidance, but this one does have mobile eye on it. Uh, again, Fire Opal full body paint coming around here. This is another neat thing. You got keyless entry right here on the side and the obligatory Tiffin doggy window right here in the door. Uh, so it has a practical reason for being there too. When you're gonna make a tight right turn, you can look from the driver's seat out here and see if there's something you're going to hit. Get on a bicycle, a rock, a stop sign, whatever. Uh, in addition, the, the pups like to watch through there going down the road too. So let's go inside and have a look on the inside of this 40 IP. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 2023 40 IP. I love this. This is Catalina Maple heated tile floors. We have our linen cabinetry. And then of course, this is the Ralph Lauren inspired Art Deco 2 decor scheme. This is a light, airy feeling coach. I love the indirect LED lighting. Now we've got opposing slides up here in front, which creates an abundance of living area. Huge galley right across from our table and chairs. I've got recliners across from a sofa. So you can have a couple folks over, a couple couples, and hang out in here comfortably and not be crowded at all. So what I like to do is kind of give you an overall view of the coach and then we'll get down piece by piece. I have a mid bath, so this is a bath and a half floor plan. So I have our full master bath in the back, our half bath or guest bath here, king bed here. I've got double basin sinks in the back. So this is really a full timer's dream for a couple. Um, I want one of these. <laughs> okay, so let's start in the living room area up here. We do have a TV on a televator. This is of course extended right now, right across from these very comfortable recliners. So the older we get, the more important TV viewing angle is, and these are just fantastic chairs. Now, a few years ago, Tiffin um, started using a different company for their furniture because Flex Steel quit making furniture for uh, motorhomes and so on. So uh, they pivoted away from that. I wasn't super crazy about the furniture at first, but now these last two model years, I like it a lot. These are really comfortable. Of course, these are power recliners as well. So I'm right across from that Televator uh, TV. This does recline all the way back, so I can definitely take the Sunday afternoon nap here. There's a little bit of room here for remote controls and so on. That sofa over there does make into a bed. So in the unlikely event that your Aunt Matilda shows up, you can give her a place to sleep here too. You do have seat belts obviously here as well as over there. So in, a, in addition to the captain and co-pilot up there, you've got seating for more back here if you have some folks traveling with you. Very comfortable um, on the seating up here in the living room area. Flowing right into the galley area. This is really special. Even if you don't like to cook a lot, it's nice to have easy access to sink, cooktop, lots of storage in here, and a convection microwave Whirlpool brand. So right across from our dinette and two chairs, there's two more chairs underneath. So if you wanna expand this, out like so we can do that and have two more chairs around here so again four folks could be around here to eat play cards or whatever now let's talk about this galley for a minute there's <laughs> there's a lot going on here starting with a ton of storage so rather than me going around and opening up each door individually i'm going to open them all up at once so you can see what it looks like before i'm going to do that i'm going to pull on this little release under here and expand our galley a little bit. I love that. This is what I call the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> okay, so we have our little utensil divider in here. Oh man, I just love this so much. 
and drawers and drawers. See, they're all soft clothes too. All right, before I go through each one, I'm gonna open them all up and show you what it looks like opened up. Okay, now we're in the galley with everything opened up. This is just fantastic. Up on top, you have these cabinets with these pull-out trays. Makes it really easy to access things up top. And also, these are all soft clothes, so if somebody's taking a nap back there, you're not slamming these doors accidentally. Really cool. Now this unit does have a dishwasher right here. It's a drawer, Fisher Paykel drawer dishwasher. You've got storage down here below with a cutting board that we can put up here. Soft clothes. And then this is really great. I always say, where's the trash can go? Because the trash can's gonna go somewhere. Right in here, this compartment comes out and then you also have access under here. Just push this top little drawer out of the way. Now this is neat. Our first motorhome had nowhere to stow the sink covers, but Tiffin's done a nice job of giving you a place to stow the sink covers underneath the sink right here in this little compartment. Dovetail joints all the way around. Very, very nice. And then check this out. Up on top here, I've got a little compartment as well store those scrubbies or whatever. You probably won't need those because you have dishwasher, right? Convection microwave, and then of course we have additional storage here in this pullout portion as well. Now, speaking of storage, one thing that Tiffin does better than anybody else is give you deep storage up on top. A lot of times I'm frustrated because the upper cabinets on coaches aren't big enough to accommodate normal cookware. You're trying to cram you know, even a basic size uh, frying pan or a stock pot, you've got plenty of room up here. And notice there's no partition in here, so you can put really large items up here, like your owner's manual, right? So, goodness gracious, that's a lot of nighttime reading right there. So, one little quick tip that I like to tell folks is if you're gonna be staying in really, really warm climates, take some of this reflective reflectix stuff that you can get from big box stores and put it on the outside wall of your coach it'll help keep this compartment cool in the summertime because there's no air circulating in there when these drawers and doors are closed now let's go over here talking about storage we have more storage up top over here as well and notice again this is all open up here. So if I do have a longer item of some kind, I can put it up in there. It's not just smaller individual compartments. Pull these chairs out of the way. We have storage along the outside wall here as well. Got a drawer on either side, storage in three different compartment areas below. Notice up there we have our household current and our USB charging ports there. Same over here, although I kind of hit it. Now this is our true induction cooktop, so we don't have any propane on board. All electric right here, so you're cooking with electric. Lower this down. Right here's your other power access point here, so you have household current and USB charging as well. Now this is, everything in here is controlled by a multiplex system and you'll see these little touch pads around. I'll show you the ones in front of the coach. There's one right here in the galley area. There's one right to the left of where you're standing if you were the cameraman and I'll show that to you in a minute too. So you, you're never farther than a few steps away from all the switches to control different components. And plus you can put the app on your phone and control a lot of those systems there as well. Since we're talking about storage, let's keep it going. Um, this is a pantry with little pull-out trays all the way, top to bottom. This is just great. So canned goods and so on. And I mean, this is full extension all the way to the outside wall of the coach. Very handy. You do have an LG branded uh, refrigerator with ice and water in the door, of course freezer compartment on the bottom and then you do have a little securing latch right here that'll keep this door from opening during travel. I'm a big fan of checklists before you break camp or you take off on a trip to begin with. One of the things I always like to have on that list is to make sure the refrigerator door is secure so we're not going down I-30 
east of Dallas and the doors open up and the gallon of milk lands on the floor. Now we have our half bath right here, so let's do this in order. I'll just show off the half bath to you. So um, it's it's a commode in the sink. All right, we have do we do have some storage up top here. All the shelves are fully adjustable, so you can adjust these shelves up and down. Tiffin started doing that a few years ago, putting adjustable shelves everywhere, and I really love that. I have a little touch panel in here for lighting, fan, and so on. There's some storage below here. Uh, very nice and I like the way they've trimmed out the ceiling vent here too. It looks much more residential Nice little half bath area Now here is our touch panel For the coach. So if I go home, I can see all of the functions that this touch panel controls from our lighting our motors temperature control energy systems and so on you can do this that's why it's so important to spend a few minutes with our technicians to go over how all these systems work it looks very complicated because there's so many things you can do don't worry you can't break it it's really handy to have it starts to make sense once you spend a little time going through each of the functions now there's one of these a small one of these on either side of the bed in here so now we're in the master bedroom the bedroom I should say we have a king bed with that lift that I referred to that is really great because it can be very difficult challenging to make a bed in any RV <laughs> that's one way to test a marriage is uh, make the bed with your spouse in an RV uh, a lot of times it's really hard to get up there and tuck those sheets in as you could see in our intro portion, this bed slides all the way out, makes it really easy to put those sheets on. Plus, if you're sitting in here for a movie night, I have a TV right over there. I can pop it up just like it sits right here and, um, and have a, a nice sort of lounge area for watching the TV. So anyway, I like that. We have USB charging ports on either side, reading lights on either side, storage across the top. Your little touch panels are on either side, so I can control lighting from either side. There's household current there in case you have a CPAP machine. My wife loves these, loves these little tiny storage uh, compartments or doors on either side of the bed. They are so small, they're not much bigger than what you can put like a bottle of water. Uh, but believe it or not, we use them. I usually put a little extra bottle of water in there or whatever. Uh, it's nice that Tiffin utilizes every little space they can for storage. We do have a ceiling fan up on top here. It helps keep the uh, air moving on those stuffy nights. Feels a lot more residential with that up there too. Now, uh, I mentioned a televator. So uh, we have a TV right there. If I come over here to my TV lift and hit the switch, we can raise that TV up. Obviously, this is something you're going to have in the down position when you're traveling, and that can be on your checklist, but raise that TV up, and again, great for a uh, movie night here. Have a fireplace right under the TV. Now, this is great. Of course, we're on an all-electric coach, but if you're at the campground and you've, you know, paid your 50, 60, 80 bucks, whatever a night, you might as well uh, use their power source to knock off the chill of your coach and uh, use this and does a nice job of knocking the chill off of a off of a coach two drawers down here again soft close we have our wally satellite receiver box here and believe it or not we have an lg blu-ray player in here so yep i'm old enough to still have dvds don't make fun but i uh, i like that we still have a lot of dvds blu-rays and it lives right here in the cabinet what do you think about this? Do you like this floor plan? I always like it when people drop comments below about particular floor plans, what you like, what you'd like to see different, because honestly, your vote counts more than anyone else's. And the manufacturers do pay attention to these videos that we do. So if you have comments, I'd love to hear from you. If you have questions about this coach or a similar model and you'd like us to do a video, let me know about that too. While you're here and if you've uh, hung with me this long, go down below and click like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this one. I would appreciate it. I have a little more storage right here, which I'll show off. Again, these uh, uh, shelves are all adjustable. So if you need to put a taller item in there, you can do that. Now, I love this. 
beautiful bathroom back here, master bath. Um, because we are on Tiffin's proprietary Power Glide chassis, there's no step up. It's level floor all the way from the front to the back. You're not stepping up into the bath area or the closet area with this. The only difference, uh, the only exception to that would be if you get the 605 option on a bus. Because of that, you would have a step up. Otherwise, you're going to have a front floor, uh, flat floor, front to back. Yeah, I'll get it right uh, on this coach. Now, huge and beautiful shower here this is just feels like high-end hotel in here so i like the tile walls here adjustable shower spray a flip up uh seat right here uh really really nicely appointed glass shower doors again on your checklist i would include making sure that this is uh, firmly latched so that this door is not swinging in transit now have a his and her sink over here which is really nice we've got medicine cabinet again with those adjustable shelves top to bottom in the three different sections of the medicine cabinet storage under here two little drawers in the middle that's really nice speaking of that little touch panel i've got one right here in the bathroom so i can control the water pump our lighting fans and so on also from that touch panel as well so very very nice pivoting around this way we have our commode storage up on top here i've got these little adjustable uh, towel holders right here which is really handy so you can hang those towels to dry making the best use of all the space and then I can access the plumbing components behind the toilet back here which is handy now in this closet I have an LED uh, light bar up here on our closet rod we have a safe obviously right here handy to have a safe and then there's more storage plenty of room in here for my cameraman's camera box and my backpack and a lot of other stuff now if you're on the road for a while you're probably going to have some dirty clothes so you have a stackable splendid brand washer and dryer so when we bought our first motor home we didn't want a washer and dryer we'd rather have the storage space but it came with a washer and dryer already installed this brand splendid hope i'm pronouncing it that right we found that we'd used it a lot and really appreciated the uh the convenience of having this in the coach the stackable units work a lot better than the combo units in my experience but anyway there you have it very handy to especially if you're out for an extended period of time or you're full timing in the coach really nice to have that well we've worked front to back so let's go all the way to the front and have a look at the cockpit area okay so come on now I mentioned earlier this is an all-electric coach we do have a 10k generator up front if I didn't point that out earlier but what I failed to point out is that we have six solar panels up on top as well six 200 watt solar panels along with dual charge controllers so that really supplements your energy needs particularly if you're going to be out dry camping for an extended period of time because remember we have those extended cycle AGM batteries under here as well so that's a nice feature to have so let's talk about the cockpit area up here so I like the design elements that Tiffin has incorporated into this particularly for the uh, the co-pilot over here so I do have a switch to enclose the stairwell so obviously your feet aren't dangling down down there but this is cool so the co-pilot can be watching the navigation system right here and there's also a touch panel down here for lighting and other controls so imagine the co-pilots riding here they don't have to be leaning over trying to keep an eye on the navigation for the driver they can do that right here where it's really handy i really appreciate that and of course these both spin around so you can even expand your living area up here as well we have a wireless charging port there there's a usb charging port cup holder over here so it's really really nice for the co-pilot over here but pilot over have a tv right here another lg tv so um 
One thing that folks uh, find challenging sometimes is a remote control. You're trying to control one TV and it changes the channels on another TV. What I've found that I do is the TV that I use the least, I'll take a piece of black electrical tape and just cover that IR sensor right there. Then if I ever do want to control this TV, I'll just get right up close to it. That way you're not constantly getting the TVs all out of sync and everything. Just a little tip. Nice big screens here, which are angled just enough to be comfortable for the driver. Obviously you can see I have my rear view camera on right here. On the left is your media center. So this is all of our camera views over here. If I come over here, I can change this to navigation. Same as the co-pilot can see. If I put it on camera, I can choose what views I have, both stationary, like we are now, or going down the road. So if I'm, if I'm uh, going back to camera, you see these little shortcuts down below. If I want to look on the left side of the coach, I can do that with the large photo, right side, back, front, right and left. I can come over here and get a 360 view as well, which is really neat when you're parking. Uh, and so on. You get a 360 camera view all the way around the coach. So really fantastic. There's a favorite menu here that you can set up as well. If I come to the menu setting, you've got your entertainment, your radio, media center, it says Sirius XM radio on it. All those settings right here, you can customize it to your needs. We have, uh, right now, I have my day shades down, which are really nice. It lets a natural light in but it helps keep it cool. I like to be able to see out a little bit and not block out the outside entirely, especially if you're at the lake or a campground, but this does help keep it a lot cooler up here. One thing I like about this too, we have our side shades as well, but um, on this particular um, unit, let's see if I can get this up out of the way. I have a power window over here. So if you're going through those toll booths on the highway, or otherwise need to access out here, it does have a power window on the side here, which makes it easy to reach through there, pay that toll and be on your way. A number of safety features on this coach. I already mentioned the mobile eye that's on this 2023. You can kind of see it through there. We pointed it outside. There's a number of other safety features that I want to tell you about as well. So in addition to the mobile eye, you're going to have adaptive cruise control very handy. You'll have electronic stability control. Now just think of that, that it basically does everything to keep the, the roof pointed toward the sky when you're going down the road. A lot of safety features involved in that. Auto traction control is great as well and I already mentioned the 360 camera view among other safety features on this. So that's really handy uh, to have those safety aspects on, on your coach going down the road. Now, if I didn't mention earlier, the tank capacities on this coach are the biggest in the industry. You've got 100 gallons of fresh water, 100 gallons of gray water, and 55 gallons of black water. So again, if you're off, don't have full hookups, that's a lot of water capacity that you can stay off grid before you need to dump those holding tanks or take on more fresh water. So that wraps up our tour today of the 2023 Allegro Bus 40 IP. Again, if you have any questions about this coach in particular or Tiffin Motorhomes in general, drop them below. We'll do our best to get to you. My name is Mike Drudge. I always appreciate you joining me. Until next time, I'll see you then.